A man who found human remains in Rockcastle County had a court appearance this morning. We'll tell you about the charges he's facing. Workers at a Central Kentucky racetrack say they're frustrated after thieves caused a lot of damage. A Central Kentucky Police Department has added a one-of-its-kind vehicle to its fleet. We'll show you what it is coming up. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT News at 430. Good afternoon, Sam Dick and Amber Philpot reporting. The case involving a man accused of stealing human remains from a crime scene in southern Kentucky is moving forward. Bruce Lee Smith is charged with evidence tampering. Police say he found the remains while mushroom hunting near Mount Vernon last month and admitted to taking a bone from the scene. WKYT's Victor Puente is in Rockcastle County with the latest from the hearing. It's our top story at 430. It was obvious Bruce Smith didn't like the fact that there was a camera in the courtroom this morning. At one point, he told me to turn it somewhere else before bailiffs told him to be quiet. Today was supposed to be a preliminary hearing on tampering with physical evidence charges. That hearing was waived, but Smith did have a hearing on several other charges he's facing. Those charges include burglary and criminal mischief, along with several traffic violations. He's also facing a charge of tampering with physical evidence after state police say he led them to human remains he found while hunting for mushrooms. That was near Wilderness Road in Mount Vernon on April 24th. They say he took a bone home, later telling police he didn't think it was human. State police say they don't believe he had anything to do with the death of that person, but charged him because he took evidence from the scene. Today, Smith and his attorney waived that tampering charge to the grand jury. State police tell me they're close to releasing the name of the person Smith found. They said they have an idea of who it is, but they're waiting for the medical examiner to make a positive identification. In Rockcastle County, Victor Puente, WKYT. And Smith will be back in court June 8th. Well, it is another day of hot temperatures here in the bluegrass. Almost feels like July, doesn't mm -hmm. it? With the heat and humidity on the increase, we could be tracking some rain, too. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. I say we need some rain. Yeah, a little isolated stuff is out there, Sam and Amber, throughout the region. You know, that really comes with the heat and humidity that you normally see into the heart of summertime out there, but it certainly feels the part of the heart of summer right now in Kentucky. So, Life First Alert Defender, let us start with you and show you what is out there. And it's not a whole heck of a lot, but it's really the first stuff we've been able to track for the past several days from Hyden, Leslie County, down into the Barberville area of Knox County and points west from there. Uh, not quite into Corbin, the I-75 corridor, but right on the east side of town here from Williamsburg back over into the Trosper area. A couple of raindrops, had some thunder and lightning with that a little bit ago. If you're traveling along 11 or 92, you're going to encounter a couple of those drops. Southern parts of Monticello into Wayne County, back over toward Lake Cumberland, everything is all clear. Lake season is just about upon us. I would imagine a few folks may be trying to get the jump on it with the weather we have out there this weekend. Defender across central Kentucky, nothing really out there. It's a slow movement with the showers and thunderstorms that's being noted out there, and those clouds are trying to billow up as well. But overall, the view across central Kentucky is one that features some sun and some clouds. Right now in Lexington, we have more sun than clouds with those temperatures topping out again into the low 80s. Guys, when I come back in a little bit, I'm going to track temperatures that actually get a little warmer into your weekend. I'll show you why I've upped that Saturday forecast with the high temperature in just a few minutes. Thank you, Chris. Well, just days away from a Lincoln County racetrack's biggest event ever, thieves have put up a roadblock. Promoters at the Ponderosa Speedway say that thieves stole batteries and more than 100 pounds of copper wiring from the track. They say that some of the copper was underground and took a while to dig out. Organizers say they can't understand why someone would go to all that trouble to steal from the track. I would like to find out who did it. I mean, it's just make people aware of what people are willing lengths they go through to make maybe a hundred dollars. The batteries they stole cost me a hundred and fifty dollars a piece to replace and I think they bring eight dollars at the scrap yard. Denson plans to install security cameras and the Lincoln County Sheriff's Office is contacting all the scrap yards in the area to alert them of the copper theft. A first of its kind electric motorcycle has been added to the fleet of vehicles owned by the Berea Police Department. Yeah, they're the only ones in the state to own one. We sent our Rebecca Smith to take a ride. We settled in. All right, all in. To see for ourselves the excitement around the Berea Police Department's new two wheeled toy. Let's check it out. You won't hear the sound of an engine revving here. An electric motorcycle is quiet. I guess it's better in a. Warmer temperatures, huh? Yeah. 
The bike plugs into the wall and gets an estimated 300 miles for every charge, which costs about a dollar. Chief David Gregory says the reason for the purchase to match the goals of the community at large. Bree is becoming more of a, a green type environment. We, you know, love our community, so very energy efficient. We try to be. One of the reasons the department opted for an electric motorcycle is because of Berea's extensive trail system. They say this allows for easier access into what would normally be hard to reach with a cruiser. We've actually uh, patrolled our park system yesterday and was able to uh, kind of catch up on people, and uh, they didn't know we were behind them. It's neat. We definitely agree. In Berea, Rebecca Smith, WKYT. The Berea Police Department says the motorcycle cost about $20,000. They say they may get another one in a couple of years if this one is a success. Eastern Kentucky University President Emeritus Dr. Doug Whitlock's love for Colonel Athletics has come full circle. Later this month, he'll be inducted into the OVC Hall of Fame in Nashville. The honor recognizes coaches, administrators, faculty, and staff who have been associated with the conference for at least five years and provided extensive and outstanding service. Dr. Whitlock earned two degrees from EKU and then spent six decades as an administrator at the school, culminating with the presidency from 2007 to 2013.